The Fournay building in downtown Crookston continues to get closer to the end of a major project that gutted and is reshaping the interior of the building that was built in 1885. The moderate weather this winter helped with the project, uh, developer Jeff Evers said. They're even getting some outdoor painting done. They took advantage of nice weather and wanted to clear up some of the structural posts that were dark brown or other colors, said Evers. I just chose the color of the upper windows for now. We may change that, but at least it cleans it up. The steel columns actually have to be painted quite a bit because they're structural. Now, when it's cooler, we'll be back inside and uh, do work in there. The exposed brick is getting painted at ground level uh, in cases the building structural support. Evers said when they demolished uh, the old storefronts, they were actually taking several different storefronts off the building that had been layered over the brick. When we demoed the storefronts, basically the whole front of the building, there was a couple of layers from 30 years, 50 years ago, and even before that, said Evers. These columns were buried back in there, and now you can see them between the glass. They have a lot of nice detail to them. We have to maintain them because they are a structural piece to the building, so the brick can't be salted in the winter. Uh, in the winter, On the corner in Main Labu, you made a kind of vestibule type deal with the glass going up 16 feet in both spots. It's a neat look and will be lit up once we get to that point. On the interior, work has also picked up as much of the second floor has already had drywall put up. We've done some roof work and a lot of different things, said Evers. Drywall is going up. There's a lot of drywall. I got uh, 600 some sheets of drywall, 4 by 12 foot sheets. I think there's probably 500 sheets already up. Electricians are working. A lot of furnaces and HVAC systems are going in. I think there are 12 HVAC systems. Uh, the second floor is really coming along, and on the third floor, we're starting to move some people up there to finish things up so it can be ready for drywall up there. Once the drywall is up, Evers said they'll move on to other final touches. They'll mud and we'll get it painted, said Evers. We'll do the drop ceiling, a little carpet, and a bit of uh, doors. Uh, well, a lot of bit of doors. Uh, get all the trim and stuff in. The easy fun part, getting to that point, has been a long process. We've got a lot to do to get done this spring now. The new skylight uh, also had a delivery date for mid-May. The skylight is scheduled for May 17th to get here, said Evers, and will be done by June 1st unless there is some delay. We basically removed the roof around the skylight, so we're going to put in insulation on the roof quite a bit of insulation, nine inches. So the roof will be pretty good as far as insulation and will we'll be all new. Uh, once the new skylight is in place and sealed with the new roof, the building should be ready to house tenants, which Evers anticipates will be sometime in June. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for KROXAM.com.